Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a month in, uh, a month in review for June and a squeaky chair. I gotta get a new desk chair. Hmm. Having some coffee, oh, with lipstick all over my cup. All right, so we're gonna talk about what happened in June and what's going on in my life. So let's start with Pelotonia. I'm writing these all down, guys. Got to have my notebook. Um, Pelotonia is a bicycle ride that I take part in, and it is to raise money for research, for cancer research, through the James and the Wexner Medical Center here in Columbus. So I've been doing some training rides. This year I'm going to ride 20 miles, and I need to raise $1,500. And I'm at about $1,200 right now. And thank you all for those of you who have been able to donate to my ride um just as a heads up i will be doing a giveaway after i ride and there's a i will show you i need to make a video of what's going to be in the giveaway but anybody who's able to donate any amount is entered into a drawing i made a bag with bicycles on it and i have a bunch of goodies that are going to go in it and then any goodies i might get at pelotonia i don't know i'll share so that is first. I've been doing a lot of bicycle riding and I'm lo I love riding my bike in the summer. So that is super fun. Um, speaking of exercise and fitness, um, in the month of June, I have lost three pounds. Now, um, I just on a continuous weight loss journey. I'm trying to get down, you know, to a reasonable weight and it's slow going at my age with hormones and diabetes and all of that. But in order for me to be better at taking care of my diabetes, I need to get off some more of this weight. So, um, when I say like I'm down three pounds, I don't count if I lose a pound, let's say I'm a hundred pounds. I win. A <laughs> hundred pounds and I lose one, so I'm 99, but I gain two and then I lose one, gain three. Uh, uh, uh. The lowest is 99. The lowest the previous month was 100. I've lost one pound. That's how I look at it. So I don't take into consideration I'm up two, down three, up four. No, it's whatever my low was from the month before to what my weight is at the end of the month of June. So I lost three pounds in the month of June. Um, so I'm excited about that. I'm getting closer. I am about nine, eight pounds from my total weight loss of 100 pounds. Um, this has been years in the making and I'm getting so close and I cannot wait. Um, cash wise, so just for those of you who are new, what I try to do every paycheck is take out $100 in cash. I use that cash for coffee money. I use it if I just need to run in the grocery store and grab some cream or one ingredient for something. Not my, I budget my grocery trips, I budget gas, I budget all of that. But cash is for like, stop at the store, pick something up, go to the farm stand, maybe I run to the craft store, I need to pick up a few things. Um, it's just for extra spending. It definitely is not for my budgeted bills. And then at the end of that two week period, whatever is left, hi buddy whatever he needs his treats whatever is left goes into a cash envelope and then i use that money here buddy there you go i use the cash i'm gonna going to use the cash that's in this well it's not really an envelope it's this container here i'll show you so there's three different things going on in here Anytime I spend money out of that hundred, I don't spend $1 bills. So these are all $1 bills that I have saved. I don't know how many are in here. I don't count them. I just toss them in this envelope or in this little bag at the end of the week. And when they're too big to fit in here, then I have a plastic container I can put them in. So these are all the $1 that I spend, that I don't spend. So anytime I break a 20, a 10, whatever, a five, I keep the $1 bills. So that's all that. Then in here, this is from Ibotta, I-B-O-T-T-A, and it's a cat, it's an app that you, when I go to the grocery store and I um, buy something that's on the app, I scan it and I get cash back. 
And so I have two, four, six, seven, eight, ninety dollars that I have cashed out. I have a couple two dollar bills as well, but those are not from that. So so far I have ninety dollars from my bada, and I know I have thirty that I could send over to myself right now, but I'll just wait till I get to like fifty. And this is for Christmas this year. Sir, what, what's the problem here? Sorry, I have to get him treats. Here, here, here you go, right here. Um, <laughs> Alex heard the magic word. It's okay, buddy, come on. I'll get you some too, come on. Hurry up, get down there, here you go. It's like feeding chickens around here. These are their big treat bag box. All right, so every time I take cash off I bought it, it goes in here and this will go towards my Christmas shopping this year. So I have 90 in here. Also, I have what's called a Fetch app, F-E-T-C-H. All these links are in the description box below. Fetch, I just um, take pictures of my receipts and you get monies for that or if other people join using my code, I get money for that. And right now, so I was saving some gift cards to spend towards Christmas, but then I just used them because I was going to be using, it didn't make sense. I have Amazon cards, so I just used the Amazon cards um, for stuff that I needed. But right now I have $50 and I'll tell you what I'm going to use that for in a moment. So back to the cash. So this is all the cash that I've had left from um, my every two weeks of taking out $100. And this week I was able to put back $75, this two week period. And I'm gonna use that cash. I have three retreats coming up weekend for cross stitch and I'm gonna use the cash to buy patterns and floss and fabric and things like that. So $600, I mean, I'm not gonna spend $300 at a retreat probably two. So I have enough right now for um, just stuff to buy at retreats and food or whatever, just to help me offset that expense. Now, this month I only sent, I think, $500. Now I did start off with four credit cards. I'm down to one. These three are paid off. And the one I have left is about four to $5,000. I'm not sure of the exact balance right now. Um, but I only spent 500 to them this month and I'll tell you why in a second. But my goal is to get that paid off this year. But we'll see. I'm not too pressed about it. I got the other debt paid down. So I'm just working on paying off this card. But I've also been putting some money back into my condo. So there's something to talk about. But the reason I only sent 500, so I got a new job. Well, I got a promotion at my current job. So I was promoted from team lead to manager of my department. So I have five people that report to me now, um, which is great. But the only, the reason I didn't send more money to my credit card is my pay scale change, not my pay scale, but my pay dates change. So I'm going from being paid every other Friday to being paid twice a month, which is different. So it used to be every other Friday I would get a check, twice a year I would get three checks in that month. Now it's always the last day of the month and the 15th of the month that I will get my pay. And so just because of how things fell, I missed a pay. So I had to go three weeks between checks instead of two. So I just was trying not to spend any money extra out of my paycheck to make sure that I could cover, I mean, I could cover, but make sure I didn't have to transfer out of my savings. Excuse me. To pay my mortgage and car payment and all of that because of my checks are gonna be different for a minute. So I just had to get, get myself on this new cycle and get a new budget, which I did for the month of July, already write out my new pay, how my bills are gonna be paid. And it's actually gonna work out better for me because when you're on a every other week paycheck, it's, it moves all the time. So my mortgage, and I like my mortgage and car payment to come out of separate checks. And so what happens is I'm constantly every month having to figure out which check is paying what bill. Being paid consistently every month on the 31st or the 30th and the 15th, I know when they're due and what comes out of what, and I can split them up pretty even. So that works for my little mathematic mind. 
so that was exciting, um, you know, for the job promotion and all of that. Um, and then what I'm going to be doing on the house. So if you have been watching these videos, you know that earlier in the spring, I got a new furnace and a new air conditioner. And I think I'm reaping the rewards of that with my electric bill. But we'll see come fall when I turn the air conditioner off and I can go back and look at previous months. But it feels like I'm saving some money there. So that's exciting. Um, my next home project is this bedroom that I'm currently in. This is my crawfish. So it's my office on this side, craft room. And if you see these walls, they're blue. And I'm, my mom picked it out and it was fine, but I really want to paint this room like a light silvery gray. So I need to hire somebody because there I have very high ceilings in here. Like they're 18 foot ceilings over on that side of the room so my ceiling vaults but so what i'm gonna do right now i am purging i'm getting rid of a lot of stuff you can't tell because you just see the view behind me but i'm getting rid of a lot of stuff out of here and i am getting ready to box up everything in this room and the bathroom and um not this i don't i'm not sure about the closet in here if i'm gonna have that painted or just the bedroom and um, bathroom. It's a bedroom area. There's a, a sink area over here and then a bathroom. So probably just that. But everything has to come off the walls. Everything has to get boxed up. The furniture needs to be moved into the middle of the room. And most likely I will work in the office that week. And my neighbor, I'm going to point to where he lives, right back here, owns a painting company. And I'm going to contact them once I'm ready Goodness, I'm tired. It's a Monday to see what the cost is going to be to paint this space. So I'm also just kind of, you know, trying to not spend overly amount of money on stuff. But I have been picking up some storage, um, storage containers. And I know that on the one wall over here, I want to put a long shelf. A pretty deep shelf and put up some craft storage up there make that side of the room a little more office like or crafty and just kind of organize and get things off the floor and out of boxes and just get rid of stuff so in preparation for that this Saturday I'm having a yard sale. well my whole community that I live in is having a yard sale I'm on the board we decided on Saturday that we were going to do a community wide yard, yard sale, garage sale, however you want to call it. And anybody in the community can participate. Um, they just need to put out some signs and they need to open their garage. Or what I'm doing is bringing all my stuff to the pool house. Um, that way, when I pack it up to go, when at the end of the day, it whatever doesn't sell is all going to go right across the street and be donated at Volunteers of America. So that's kind of an ongoing project. I don't anticipate getting into this room to paint until September, maybe August. It just depends how quickly I can go through all this stuff and get um, storage cleaned up and all the extras out of here and then get boxes to package like all of this crafty stuff. And these, these behind me, these white, there's some teal colored ones on the bottom. Those are all yarn they're all yarn and i need to go through it and i just need to purge the yarn if it's real wool i will keep it if it is not real wool then it's gonna go and then up top here you can't see there's a bunch of stuff up there too so just a process i've started but you know it's gonna take some time so that's also going on in my life and then the last thing is i created a facebook group um, I have gotten comments over the years that folks would like to be able to share some of their crafts and a little pl easier place to communicate. It's hard in the comments to um, always talk about what's going on. And so I created a Facebook group and it is under My Crazy Life. And again, there will be a link in the description box below that will be permanently down there whenever I post videos. And if you want to join that group, you can come on over. It is a safe place for everybody. I just ask that we all be kind to each other and respectful and have a good time. And we can post. It's been a little quiet right now, but I figure we'll get more people 
over there and we'll get into the swing of things. I think there's about 59 people over in the group right now. So feel free to come and join us. Or if it's not your cup of tea, that's okay too. It's there. Uh, later this week, probably, I will have a floss tube coming up showing you my cross stitching and some of the new stuff I bought. I have bought some new fabric and I have some projects to sew. But again, I kind of just want to get this office purged before I drag out crafty sewing and all that. But that is also one of the things I need to do is get in that in the closet that's behind this wall. I have a dresser in there and it's full of just fabric scraps that I really just need to donate. So that is it. I am still on the debt free journey. Like I said, I have one credit card left that needs to be paid down or paid off. Um, I have my one other credit card that I have through the bank I work for. I use that for gasoline purchases each month because I get three times the points on that and I can use those points for travel and things of that nature. So I'm just building up points over there to, um, yeah, see what I can make of that. I think I have like 20,000 points, which is the equivalent of, I believe like $200. So as long as I just use it and pay, and I pay it off each month, that's the thing. Like I put my gas on it or whatever, and then I pay it off. That also helps with credit building. Um, but the other, other card, I'm just trying to pay off. I'm not trying to use that and, and, um, not yet. Once it's paid off, then I'll have that conversation with myself. We'll have a little meeting in here with Lori and Lori, and we'll be like, hey, girl, you want to do this? I'll be like, yeah, I need to do that. And maybe we'll build up some points over there because eventually I'd like to go on vacation. I mean, I do go on vacation and I do travel, but I want to travel. I want to go to Europe. I want to go to Ireland. I'm so sad because it's just not time. Travel is not good right now, especially in the United States. Airlines are canceling flights all the time. Coronavirus, monkey pox, all the things. I don't want any of that. So just land low, but don't worry. I will be, oh, here comes Alex again. All right, guys. Well, that is everything I have for you today. Um, I just wanted to drop in and do a little update for you. And I will certainly do a complete room tour when this room is done. Like I said, it'll be closer to fall um, once I get everything taken down, painted, and then put back together how I want it. It's going to take some time, but I'm okay with that. I got nothing but time right now. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoy and you got something out of these videos and I will talk with you later. Bye.